So yes, it's time to get clotheslines and put them out. The sun purifies, the sun penetrates very deep. So investigate your sleeping area because you spend a third of your life in that room and that can interfere with your oxygen uptake. Also, posture. Why posture? Well, your, your uh, muscles in your abdominal area are all connected to your spine. So when they are loose, the posture tends to be like this. But when the abdominal muscles are strong, that automatically helps to pull your spine back. And your abdominal muscles were designed to aid in the breathing process. Many people are high chest breathers today. They're only breathing with their high chest because their abdominal muscles are weak and they don't have good posture. So it's important to stand tall, that erect form, where sons and daughters, princes and princesses of the Most High God. So, so stand as the prince and the princess that you are and make sure you strengthen those abdominal muscles. If you're only breathing with your high chest, sometimes you're only getting maybe a third or half the amount of oxygen that you should be getting. The Framingham Heart Study, interesting study, I think I mentioned it the other day, they found that by the age of 50, most people had lost 40% lung capacity. By the age of 80, most had lost 60% lung capacity. How would they do that? They stop using those lungs. They start sitting like this. They become high chest breathers. They're not exercising. How can you retain it? Run up and down those hills every day. Strengthen your abdominal muscles. Do your push-ups every day. Do your core strengthening exercises every day. And breathe deeply and make sure those windows are open, especially while you're sleeping. So you can prevent uh, the loss of that lung capacity if you do that. And if you have lost that lung capacity, you can regain it by exercising it. And how do you exercise it? Breathing very, very deeply. So what we have done here is we have explored many ways that you can ensure that you're getting adequate oxygen. I know when I was homeschooling my children and the long division was getting difficult and I found the children when they're not, you know, when they're not getting something, they can even be difficult to work with, they're feeling bad, so I'd call a break. Okay, skipping rope, trampoline, run around the house three times, get on your bike. They'd come back 10 minutes later like this. <sighs> Can you see the face? Mm -hmm. And well, they'd get it. <laughs> So when you are studying, and hopefully you all are studying, we should be learning new things every single day. Remember to take little breaks and get on that rebound or that exercise bike or run around the house or run up a hill and get replenish those brain cells with the oxygen so that you can learn new things. We should be learning new things right up until the, until the day we die. So you can see why oxygen is the most vital element needed for life. I do acknowledge that there are some areas where you have to wear a mask. So please make sure it's a cotton mask and please make sure that you can wash it and you must wash it every day because you're breathing out the waste and it gets stuck in those little fibers. Mm -hmm. Try and get a, as a looser cotton one as, as you can. And as soon as you're out of that shop, <laughs> take that mask on and get the fresh air. And please don't put your children in a mask because, you know, children aren't getting COVID. <laughs> it's the elderly who are getting it because those children need that fresh air. The second law of health is sunshine. God didn't make a mistake when he put the sun in the sky. 